what's up y'all welcome back to another vlog so today is wednesday march 20th and last night was the start of the spring equinox at 11 06 p.m so these next couple days are the days where you're supposed to be doing like your spring cleaning and your reset and decluttering and setting your intentions and stuff like that and even though i knew like this particular time was coming baby i did not prepare properly i really want to tackle some things these next couple days these next couple weeks um just like the general cleaning but also my room my room has like it just has so much stuff in it i'm not even gonna show y'all but i really have like a lot of things that i want to get rid of um in my closet like i have a like a top shelf that i <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I haven't touched those things in years. So it's like, what is up here? Like, what is buried under this stuff? We need to get it on out of here because I don't even go up there. So stuff like that, I wanna like just go through and get rid of what I don't want. And I was also thinking about rearranging my room again. I don't have a lot of space to really work with um, because I do have like a full size bed. It's a twin over full bunk bed so with the full bed you know you're only able to work with so much space however i was doing some thinking and i know it was going to require another project and this might be something i would have to build because i was looking for like the corner drawers like usually you see them in kitchens where the drawer is kind of like made into the corner and you can pull it out it's really like it utilizes the space that doesn't get used when you have like corner cabinets and stuff like that so I was thinking about perhaps getting one but then when I was looking at the prices they're quite expensive right and I don't know if they particularly make those for like bedrooms because I don't think people usually have a reason for a bedroom like usually a bedroom is really spacious you get like a long dresser or something like that but for me that would be ideal for the small space i'm working with um but i think that might be something that i might have to build myself since you know over the winter we started being like the new handy lady around here so i don't know that's a project that i might want to invest in not sure but i don't know i just feel like i want to change around my room i do have a like a big tall dresser in there and I used to have um, like a seven drawer chest, which I ended up replacing with this dresser. Well, actually I didn't replace it. I actually got rid of it to make more space. And I had another dresser similar to that one. No, the one that I have now, but I think I'm gonna maybe try to opt in back for the tall skinny dresser and maybe this other like desk like dresser in the corner. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know it's a big project if i do plan to do it or if i even do try to carry it out but for right now i just want to try to get some stuff out of there because it's just really tight space and i have a lot of things and honestly some of the stuff i'm not really using um clothes mm, most of my clothes are like downstairs stored away as far as like switching out like my winter clothes for my spring and summer clothes we are not doing that yet because maybe it's still chilly outside okay yesterday it was still feeling like winter out here today was a little better but it's still chilly so we're gonna wait on that for maybe like another couple weeks but i do want to start like decluttering some stuff so i got up this morning with this idea that i was going to start some cleaning but let me tell y'all i've just been so tired like i think i got up maybe two or three times last night and i know i've been telling myself like i need to get to bed earlier and i had started at one particular point and i don't know i don't know i get distracted and i start watching stuff and then next thing i know it's 12 31 o'clock so i'm gonna have to start getting to bed earlier but for some odd reason i just can't sleep through the night so i don't know i'm gonna have to figure something out because i don't know what's going on with me Maybe it's my mattress, which I don't think so. Maybe it's my pillows I need to change. I, I don't know what it is, but I just need to figure out why I can't sleep because when I dropped these kids off this morning, I was just like, I'm going back in my bed. So I definitely did not get an early start on anything today. We're gonna get things started. I'm about to go 
and take a shower and begin my day because it's already 12 o'clock. Hey y'all, so it is a little later in the day. The kids are home from school. Ooh, the sun, the sun is hitting. It's been like off and on, rainy, gloomy all day for it to be the first day of spring, I mean, you know. But the um old folks, or shall I say one old folk, dumped another project on me for today that I had no plans to do. But I have to put this, what do you call it? plaster grout on the floor to fix these tiles why do i feel like he must have took up more tiles because this was not all the way across like this like i thought it was like eight tiles now i'm counting ten anyhow i have to put these tiles down and let them dry because they have been like this for a long time well not exactly like this he kind of dug up some more i guess to even it out but i'll show you in a second so y'all see the hole i'm dealing with here now i am not that much of a handy girl i don't usually do this but y'all know i've been experimenting with stuff but i gotta fill this in now so i put so i took out some stew beef and I put it in a pressure cooker so it can cook. So while that's happening, I can hurry up and do this because I don't I don't want to be stuck with this tomorrow. But anyways, I'm about to do that right now or try to do it. I don't even know like how much of the mix I'm supposed to put in. I think I definitely put enough, probably too much, but I haven't mixed it yet. So I'm about to do that. Um, I guess we're going for a pasty consistency and yeah let's see how this turns out can you blow my so clearly I don't know what I'm doing because I must have made well not made but I put down too much of the mix because it was just oozing out of the sides and I know usually you would put like the rest of it to fill in the cracks later but I had way more than I needed so we made something work I I did the best I think I could do. Okay, so I literally just put this, I forgot what you call this thing, leveler. Yeah, I put this on top of there so nobody steps on it. But let me see if I can show y'all. Like, it was oozing out the sides. It's very like movie and watery. So I'm gonna just put this here. And I'm just leave it alone. I'm gonna have to leave that alone because if I do anything else, I'm going to mess it up. I should have Googled like a YouTube video or something. I thought it was just gonna be like simple. And first of all, he should have gave me something to really mix this stuff because first of all, it's so many lumps and bumps in there. Like, don't they have like that electric thing where it, it spins and it makes it like mixer thing like i see people use that when they're doing like home improvement jobs and stuff like what 
He just gave me a stick. Like, this stick ain't doing nothing. It's mad lumps and bumps, and I'm over here killing myself trying to get them out. Like, anyways, it's done. So, hopefully, it dries down okay, and that's the end of that. What's up, y'all? It is the next day. Let me tell y'all what happened last night. Y'all know I finished putting down the tiles in the bathroom and I put the leveler over it so no one would step on it, right? And I even left the light on, mostly for my grandfather because he will be the first one to come and say, oh my God, I didn't see it, right? So I put the leveler on there and I turned the light on. I went in the room and I told Kyra the leveler was on the floor. If you have to go to the bathroom, watch out for it and please step over it. Okay, cool. Went downstairs. I got my hand in the pots now. Because, you know, I put my pressure cooker on with my meat in there before I even started the tiles, right? So, now that's done. So, I put my beans on. You know, turned it on the fire. And put it on high. Just put it on the fire in the pot. It's not even 10 minutes later. Kyra comes downstairs and she's like, we have a problem. What could the problem possibly be? I'm not thinking it has anything to do with the bathroom. But what problem do we have? Then she proceeds to tell me how she accidentally stepped on a leveler. What? A girl. A girl. How? Why? Like, you... you I can't make this shit up. Like, okay. Cool. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. So I go upstairs. Baby, you didn't accidentally step on this. You did the A-Town stomp on this bitch. What? Everything was just oozing out of like each tile. And like I told you I put like 10 tiles down, right? Every single tile had some something oozing out of it. And I'm just like, why? Why? So uh, I was so pissed i just was over it like ugh. and y'all already knew i like y'all already know i did not know what i was doing anyway like like ugh. these kids man I, I can't make this shit up so i ended up having to fix that that all that work that i did okay all that work i had to fix it, it only took about maybe roughly 10 minutes if not a little bit more but then, I come back downstairs now. Remember, I put my pot of beans on. And my beans are starting to burn up. And my grandmother is like eight feet from it, messing with Naya. And I'm like, lady, you don't see, you don't, you don't, you don't smell my beans burning? It wasn't that bad. It just had started to get like, you know, hard at the bottom. But I ended up taking it out that pot and putting it in another one. And just filling it with some water and starting it over. But it was fine. It didn't have no burnt taste. It hadn't got that far. And I actually used the the first pot for my rice that I put on. So it, was, it wasn't that bad. But the fact of the matter is, it's like, baby, you don't smell my mouth. Beans burning. <sighs> it was a night. But we're here and it's just after 11 o'clock um i did my workout this morning so that turned out really good it was a good workout um wore my ass out but good nonetheless i did some squats like weighted squats which i haven't actually squatted in like months so i started off with i think it was probably roughly with the bar maybe 65 which i think the most that i have squat I think the most I squatted before was like 145 for like three or four reps, which isn't, it is a lot, but it's not a lot. Like I could definitely be more. Well, if I'm doing three or four reps, I could definitely squat more than that. But like the last time I actually squatted, it was like 135, 145 for like three or four. So that turned out really good. I did three sets of 10 with I think like the 65. And then after that, I did some good mornings, which I recently realized like my form with my good mornings was kind of like way off. So I was looking at one of the, um, you know, the Instagram gym girlies and basically it's like doing a RDO just with the weight on your, your neck and your shoulders. So 
I was like, oh, okay. So I think I kind of fixed my form this time. So that turned out good. And I went heavier than I would normally go. So that turned out good. And then the Bargarian squats, which baby, those are the killers, okay? I realized I'm a lot weaker on my least dominant leg with those than anything else so that was interesting i'm like i'm right-handed so usually my right side is always my stronger side but with them bargarian squats baby no it is not so we're gonna have to work on those but i did do three sets of 10 on each leg for those and then i did like some like some standing i forgot what you call them it's not it's it's leg raises but it's like clams so I, I don't know which one, but it, it's with the weight, like you holding the weight. What is that called? Like, what is that movement called? I don't know, but I did it. I did the same thing, three sets of 10. And yeah, that pretty much was it. Like, and I just, I went heavy with the weights than I normally would. So yeah, I'm feeling real good today. But I am about to make me some French toast and some eggs. <laughs> because I'm hungry okay and after a good workout all I want to do is eat so I'm about to get to that Ooh, breakfast is ready I'm dead about to bust this down what hey y'all hey so it's the next day I got the same shirt on I had yesterday cuz I ain't going nowhere so but it is almost 2 30 no it is 2 30 in the afternoon i just picked up naya from school and kyra has after school so she's gonna be a couple hours but i wanted to propagate my let's what do you call it what do we call it trad trad discantia trad discantia nanook plant i think that's how you pronounce it i'm trying to I am trying to spruce up on my plant vocabulary, so Trad Discansia Nanook is the name of the plant. So I wanna actually propagate it today, which is cutting them into smaller pieces. Well, there's a long, long piece that I want to cut into pieces and put it in a different planter so that it can kind of just grow on its own. And I watched a couple videos on Instagram and YouTube about it. So I really only just need the dirt and the planter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm about to go into that now. Okay, so this is the one that I want to cut y'all. And they said you need to cut it, I think like right under the, the little notch here. I forgot what you call this. But um, yeah, cut them like right under there. So I'll probably try to cut this one in maybe one, maybe two, maybe three pieces. Okay, so I have five pieces y'all. And they said if there's any leaves, extra leaves, like where you cut, to take them off. So I assume like maybe the bottom leaves, like here and here. Even though they're so pretty, I don't want to take them off. Hey y'all, so it's some time later and I am currently cooking dinner. So I am having some basil fish baked with baked potato. And I'm trying something different tonight. I am trying some bok choy. I'll put a little picture up here somewhere. You've probably seen this in the grocery store. I actually was supposed to be using this in my lo mein that I cooked the week before or last week. Yeah, either or, I was supposed to put it in my lime, but I never picked it up. And I keep seeing things about it. So I was like, you know what? Let me um, 
pick it up and try it out so i cooked some of that but let me tell you though it cooks down so much like i don't even have enough for everybody but we're trying it out so me and my grandmother are gonna eat it but i put some carrots in there seasoned it seasoned it with some salt and some pepper and then i also put this um this japanese seasoning in there i'll put that in the corner here too because i can't pronounce it but i put some of that in there too that has like a kind of like fish flavor i think it's like seaweed and stuff so put some of that in there and we're gonna see how it is i kind of taste a little piece and it tastes pretty good but it just cooks down so much like it cooks down more than like collard greens so we about to get into that i'm gonna show y'all in a second i didn't show y'all me cooking because as you see it's a loud house so but i'm gonna show y'all when i have it on my plate hey y'all so it is um, sunday the 24th and i know the lighting might be a little bad the quality might be a little uh because i'm using the front camera on my phone right now i don't know what i did with my camera i had it yesterday i think i didn't vlog yesterday at all but i think i had it yesterday and i don't know what i did with it so i have to look for it because i have to get y'all this vlog but yeah i didn't vlog yesterday i started doing a little cleaning and my friend came over she needed some assistance with some like makeup tips and stuff so we was doing that for about an hour but most of the day i was just cleaning and stuff like that so i didn't really vlog yesterday but i did want to come here and end this vlog um more cleaning today i want to do my hair but i might end up washing it tomorrow so we'll see but for the most part it's just going to be another day of cleaning i'm gonna cook later obviously because it's sunday you know sundays it's like the real big dinner days and yeah just do things around the house so i just want to come here and close out this vlog for y'all because i'm gonna start a new one tomorrow and i haven't figured out a solid posting schedule usually i post on fridays but i think i might want to switch that up so i'm not sure yet but i'll let y'all know y'all will know before probably before the next vlog or maybe after i don't know but either way if you got this far in the video thank you for watching don't forget to turn on your bell notifications and i will catch up with y'all in my next vlog I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad.